Lift your hands and bless His name. Shebranda kaparatos kadiada. Indeed, He is here. Mighty God, shalaka parados sede bredege debelekatos. Can you bless Him in the spirit? He is here to heal, to deliver, to transform. Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, 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 eh. Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, 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 eh. Yahweh. like you to cry from the depth of your heart father give me an encounter tonight give me an encounter tonight not tomorrow not next week tonight 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 shebaka paradosh kalibrande barasko vadi balasiata someone full of faith is praying give me an encounter tonight Give me an encounter tonight. Someone is praying. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Lord mighty in battle. Sabranda balaka dosha la bedrosa. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thy is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thy is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thy is the power Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Lift your voice and prophesy to your destiny. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. glory the Lord strong and mighty your mighty in battle amen you are that king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle amen. 
father tonight that you will do a quick walk in our midst let the sick be healed let no oppression survive tonight in the name of jesus lord you will open up destinies like pages of a book tonight in the name of jesus you will open up destinies like the pages of a book tonight in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus and everything that does not name the name of christ it must give up over your life tonight in the name of jesus christ god bless you please be seated i want you to be very very sensitive God is already moving, God is already touching, God is already blessing, following from within this auditorium, all the overflows outside, and those who are connecting from around the world, may God bless you. This is our miracle service for the month of July. And we know that God will do us good in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your life will so change tonight. You will know that you encountered his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome everyone again in the name of Jesus Christ who is the head of the church. Um, let me just honor two or three great people in our midst who are worthy of honor. Hallelujah. The first is a dear man of God, all the way from Port Harcourt, Bishop Victor Uzosuke. God bless you, sir. Please, let's give him a big, big God bless you. Thank you so very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And then um, we have in our midst Senator Keopas Moses from Bielsa Central. See here. God bless you. Thank you so very much. And then a very special guest indeed in our midst, the Deputy CVN Governor, Mr. Edward Adamu and his dear wife and family. Let's honor them. May God bless you. Such an honor to have you around. Every other person is welcomed in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not only you I'm saying welcome to. I also say welcome to your breakthrough. Welcome to your favor in the name of Jesus. You are not the only one who came to church. God also came. Angels are here and they did not come empty handed. In the name of Jesus, everything that is not welcome tonight must live your life. Everything that is not welcome tonight must live your life. Please sit down. Let me teach you something for a few minutes before we begin to pray. You know, Please let me have your attention now. Most times when prophetic words come like this, most believers think it's just a religious, maybe a man of God is just speaking. And then sometimes because the evidences don't show immediately, we are tempted to think and even believe that nothing happened. The word of God is very powerful. Are we together? We must, we must be reminded once again of the supremacy of the word of God the supremacy of the word of God as we prepare to receive tonight because this is a service that was designed by God to give us an opportunity to receive when Jesus walked upon the earth Matthew chapter 4 the Bible tells us that when he left John after John baptized him he was driven by the spirit of the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and then the bible lets us know from verse 2 that having prayed and fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was hungry verse 3 says that satan came to him the tempter he called him and the first temptation he said if thou be the son of god who is talking now satan command that these stones be made bread now watch the answer and the approach of Jesus in dealing with Satan. There's a lesson for us to learn here. And he answered and said, it is, it is, that means it is written, is greater than I saw. It is written, is greater than I heard. The realm of the prophetic it is written is greater 
than I saw the realm of revelation. It is written is greater than I felt the realm of feelings and emotions. You would think Satan, I mean, Jesus would have told Satan, are you crazy? You didn't see me praying and fasting. But he said, it is written. This is very powerful. The supremacy of God's word. Above and beyond the realm of the prophetic. Above and beyond the realm of the apostolic. Above and beyond the realm of the miraculous. Above and beyond the realm of feelings. In fact, it is the word of God that gives these realms and dimensions their value. If you extract the word of God from the prophetic, the prophetic is just witchcraft. If you extract the word of God from revelation, revelation is just the empty boasting of men. If you extract the word of God from the realm of feelings, it's just emotional vacillations that will not lead anywhere. What gives credence to all these realms and all these dimensions, the healing, the miraculous, the prophetic, is the word of God. You have to understand this. Someone say it is written. Now, we all desire to walk in victory perpetually. The Bible says, now thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. And in preparing for tonight's miracle service, I took out time to study carefully and once again, the ministry of Jesus. I really wanted to find out as though I had never studied it before. How did Jesus address Satan? How did Jesus address the issue of failure? Because he's our pattern man, theologically speaking. Is that true? If we are to command sustainable victory, then we have to study not just how Paul approached it. These are men, men. Not just how the patriarchs of old. I want to see that Jesus walked upon the earth. So it is worthy of note and study to see how he approached Satan. And I came up with two things by the Spirit that will be my charge tonight. There are two principal ways that Jesus defeated Satan. Number one, after the temptation or during the temptation, in Matthew chapter 4, you read from verse 1 to 11. We may not have all the time, but please write for reference. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11. This captures his entire uh, discourse with Satan and his victory over Satan. Notice that the first way Jesus overcame Satan was by saying it is written. Are we together? His confession of the word of God was the basis for his victory. And then the Bible says, when we read verse 10, please give us verse 10 and 11. 10 and 11, the last temptation. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee ten, Satan, for it is written, one last time, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him shalt thou serve. Verse 11. The Bible says, Then the devil leaveth him. Why did the devil leave him? Not because he wanted to leave. He left him because the basis of his communication with Satan was saying, It is written. But the strange thing is one of the synoptic accounts tells us that he left him for a season. That means it is written has power, but it is written will alone will provide temporal solution. The most permanent way Jesus addressed Satan was not just saying it is written, but doing it is written. It was in his doing what was written that Satan was permanently defeated Galatians chapter 3 please and verse 13 when Jesus went to the cross and hung on the cross he established by his death his burial and his resurrection the ultimate defeat of Satan and his cohorts and he did not just die because he wanted to die on the cross he died doing what was written that this was the only way he could become a curse for us. The Bible says Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made. That means becoming. Not just saying I am a curse. Uh -uh. Being made a curse for us. 
for it is written that means he died and did what he did according to that which was written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree 14 he says that the blessing of abraham please get my teaching in zaria the seed of abraham i did a teaching on this that the blessing of abraham is justification by faith might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so satan comes to jesus at the first instance and jesus said it is written it is written it is written that provided a measure of victory but he still came back again this time around jesus did not just say it is written he did it is written and it brought permanent victory are we together so there are two realms of establishing victory as we see in and through the life of jesus number one is your confession of faith which is according to that which is written not just according to that which you feel not just according to that which you think we have established the fact that it is written is greater than feelings it is written is greater than um i saw visionary experiences greater than the prophetic i heard in order of priority and supremacy the word of god excels above all these realms but there are many of us our victory is limited because the only thing we do is to say it is written and the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that saying it is written that means dwelling only in the realm of your confession of faith will produce for you a measure of victory three times jesus said it is written and satan left him but he left only to return but when jesus did it is written the victory was permanent and established it is written in the name of jesus i am light i am salt it is written in the name of jesus i am the head and not the tail in the name of jesus i am not poor in the name of jesus i am great that is wonderful that is you have already begun your journey to victory but that remaining in that realm alone will eventually frustrate you imagine if jesus just stood and said in the name of jesus or in the name of the father i have died for sinners all sinners you are coming to the saving knowledge of christ that would be wonderful but to end there till today we would not be saved that means it takes more than just saying what is written are we together we must move past that realm to aligning our lives and then doing what is written that is what establishes our victory perpetually most believers know how to speak well and even psychologists will tell you that when you speak well you are giving your mind your subconscious the tools that will create the physical expressions of your reality so in any case whether you are born again or not speaking positively and speaking um, releasing that positive energy has an advantage to your life but victory in the kingdom is more than that it starts with your speaking but it must end with obedience your doing please give us hebrews chapter 4 paul was giving us perspective as to the power of the word of god he says let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest uh-huh any of you should seem to come short of it verse 2 it says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them the word that was preached was not wrong the word that was preached was not important and yet it did not profit them why not being mixed with faith in them that heard it not being mixed with faith in them that heard it that means they heard the word that was full of life and full of power and yet because they did not mix it with faith and you know what faith is by now that faith is beyond professing the word of god faith has to do with your obedience in one word faith is obedience are we together many believers are unable to establish sustainable victory in their lives not because the word of god is a lie 
and not because Jesus Christ has lost his power and victory over Satan and circumstances but we are unwilling to finish this faith equation and so give him room to manifest his power in his fullness because for many believers we have not even gotten to the first realm of believing him enough to speak and declare the Bible says the righteousness of faith speaks the righteousness that is of faith speaks but it does not just stop with confession there are many many people who make empty confessions in the name of Jesus I will not fail and yet they do not find out the kingdom principles that are allotted for victory experientially and so we continue to declare in the name of Jesus I am walking in favor in the name of Jesus I am walking in abundance and that can get us a measure of victory and results but then we refuse to find out the principles that we need to work with in keeping with the word of God as far as those areas of needs are concerned and then we find out that our confessions almost become a mockery of our Christian experience because we are unable to establish victory hallelujah so it starts with your faith and your faith the from the abundance of your heart, the Bible says the mouth speaks so don't get me wrong confession is a very important part because confession tells us what you believe in fact give us first John chapter 5 please from verse 4 and 5 it says for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world hallelujah for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith i'm interested in verse 5 verse 5 says who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god that means not everybody is an overcomer the overcomer is the one who believes not just anything and everything you must believe that jesus is the son of god hallelujah but then in believing that he is the son of god you must also move past that realm and then obtain grace from god to walk in keeping and to do that which commits his integrity to your life this is the area where many believers are missing it do you know as i prayed preparing for this miracle service the Spirit of God began to burden my heart again and again as to the fact that it is important for believers to understand the potency of the word. But more than the potency of the word, the dynamics of the operation of the word, believers need to be taught afresh how the word works, the administration of the life and the power that comes through the word. Because now we're living in times, you know what is happening across the globe and even in our dear nation. Challenges all everywhere. And for many people, their Christian experience is beginning to be frustrating because they are now experiencing uh, things like lack and want and need to the point where their basic needs cannot be met again. Do you know? I've observed that in Africa and especially in Nigeria, we have a very, we have a very, we are, we are very elastic. We have a strong ability to endure. So it will be difficult for people to give up on God just for maybe because they don't have a job or their health. They can manage and still believe. But when it gets to a point where you lack food to eat, when your basic needs are affected, at that point, Satan would have made a statement that if care is not taken, can affect your Christian experience. I was listening very carefully to the testimony that I think um, a sister or brother gave, how that they were mocking her and saying, this church girl, this is not about church thing. It is about a spiritual thing, but not a church version. You understand what they're saying? There are many people who are already receiving invitations to return home. And you know what that means. To return home means to return to something that seemed to have produced a level and a kind of result. Let me tell you the truth. Heaven and earth will pass away. But believe me when I tell you the word of the Lord abides forever. 
Do you believe that? Who is he that overcometh? But he that believes in the Son of God. When you look at the global, you know, news around the globe, economically, politically, when you look at Nigeria, we've been challenged, especially in recent times, even within our city here, the FCT, unfortunately. And so it, the, the faith of many believers are being dampened. People are discouraged. People are asking, God, are you there? Are you alive? Do you not know that the value of light is when there is darkness? Are we together now? David would have no ministry if they were not Goliath. So all of these Goliaths moving around are giving the saints an opportunity to demonstrate once and again the all-surpassing power and intelligence that resides within this kingdom. I want you to find a way of believing this. Ecclesiastes, I believe it was verse 1, chapter 1 and verse 9. It says the thing that is, is the thing which, the thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. That means as far as the sequence of seasons and living is concerned, there is nothing that is new. If it is wars, it has happened. If it's terrorism, it has happened before. Are we together? If it's hatred and wickedness, it has happened before. If it's victory and triumph, it has happened before. As an individual, as an institution, as a nation, nations have been freed from tyranny through history. Nations have been under the bondage of tyranny through history and all sorts of things. He's saying that there is absolutely nothing new under the sun. That means when we are challenged with things that seem to be new in our life, he comforts us that they are not new before God. That this earth is old enough and it has captured within its space all kinds of things, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But that above them all, there were people who conquered those systems. This is a word of hope for us. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth will pass away, but that the word of the Lord abides forever. But it does not mean that it will automatically work for you. This is what I want you to listen and understand. Most of us believe, I am a Christian, I am coming to church. That is wonderful. And yet the word of God does not seem to produce in our lives. Why is that so? Because number one, we have lost touch with our belief and our confession of faith. Jesus, our pattern man, is teaching us that over Satan, over negative situations and circumstances, your first port of call is to believe in the victory of Jesus and to confess and profess it with understanding. That in the name of Jesus, when men say there is a casting down, for me I declare that there will be a lifting up. Never outgrow confessing the word in truth. Do not see it and say this is something for children, except you don't believe the Bible. Satan comes to Jesus and he says, it is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. It is written. You shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. It is written. You will call on one person and a nation will respond to you. It is written. You have to, listen, it is risky to build your life today in today's world on any other thing aside from that which is written. You are sitting on a time bomb. I'm building my destiny on my uncle's uh, promise to me. That is dangerous. Your uncle is a man. I'm building my destiny on my many certificates. Congratulations. But believe me when I tell you, vanity upon vanity anything that is not the word of god does not sustain by itself the power to stand the test of time are we together there are many who are building their faith and their conviction today on men of god 
as wonderful as that sounds that is dangerous and that is a risk there are many who are building their faith and their conviction on the monies that they have in their bank account it's one thing for your account to be fine and it's another thing for the bank holding your account to be fine hallelujah if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were an investor whether you were a businessman whether you were an excellent farmer whether you were a professor whether you were naive that flood was going to carry every one of you the only person who would survive was the one who got into that ark hallelujah and every once and again events happen in the earth where there are no alternatives except the word of god that ark of safety you see is the word of god it says to build the ark of gopher wood and let it have three stories anybody who was too proud or not discerning to enter that ark died with the flood the heavens gave its rain the earth gave its rain whoever was in between had to go plants animals everything do you know i know that historically there are still arguments today whether the flood of noah really happened the bible tells us that it happened and so we believe we've not experienced catastrophe on earth like that if nigeria has a problem for instance you can run to another nation where there is land and then you can run somewhere and find safety but what if the whole earth the whole earth has water what skyscraper will lift you above it when the heavens sending its rain the earth sending its rain and the on earth can you imagine no nation was saved only one ark who we see that overcometh but he that believes that that name of the lord is a strong tower that you can run into it like noah ran with his sons to the ark and that they are saved don't blame noah it was not his fault he was obedient enough to not just say what was written but to do he built it for about a hundred years and history tells us they laughed at him they mocked him to scorn and then when the time had come God himself closed the door and rain came and everyone died I've told you that it was not the ark alone that protected them if the whole earth is submerged with water cold will kill you even if you are in the ark I hope you know that so entering the ark was not what protected them the weather condition under that kind of condition i mean come on you have basic knowledge of geography the whole earth being cold it will kill you you will freeze right there and yet they were preserved by the hand of the mighty one i don't know about you but as for me I have made up my mind that for as long as I live, this becomes the basis for my living. I have explored a lot of other options and I've seen how weak they are in the face of real life situations. The Bible says the word of God has been tried seven times and it has survived. Please listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God for medical doctors. But we're living in times where even they themselves are confessing that they will keep doing their best but they are limited thank god for architects engineers professors and all of that you are in nigeria here our universities sadly have been closed for months i don't know about you but let me encourage you by the spirit of grace that we are living in times that are not only perilous times we're living in times where every believer needs to return back to the integrity of God's Word it is written is the ancient pathway that many followed and navigated their way through the tides of life and destiny you would think they will fail with it and yet at the end of it that ark will be standing and the Bible says the ark rested on Mount Ararat hallelujah there are people here tonight sick in their bodies and most of them do not believe that God is able to heal most of them do not believe God is able to deliver listen to me ladies and gentlemen let me encourage you by the spirit of grace I want you to believe that miracles still happen find a way of convincing yourself it is true 
find a way of believing that breakthroughs still happen find a way of believing that the word of god still works in spite of all the negative things that seem to mar our society i'm speaking words of faith to your spirit as you are seated listening to me inside outside across the globe i want you to believe that god is dependable i want you to believe that the name of jesus is truly a strong tower that the righteous can come to it and they can find safety safety against all kinds of things hallelujah this is the basis for the miracle service it will be evil and unfair to gather thousands of people here and across the globe and just listening to a man communicate the philosophies of men or give you ideas that have not been tried our confidence is not in ourselves our confidence is the fact that we only stand behind the integrity of this that is written and we stake our lives i can tell you the truth the word of god will work for you it will not just work because you say it it will work because you make a determination to obtain grace from god to work in keeping with the principles that commit that word to your life if the bible says when men say there is a casting down for you they will say there is a lifting up now you confess it let the redeemed of the lord say so are we together but then you find out what else should be done what is the participatory role that you have to play in making that scripture right and true if the bible says call on to me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things if you want to see great and mighty things you don't sit down and expect god to just reveal you call on to him because that is the condition and to call on to him does not mean to be calling while you are distracted you must give him dedicated attention lord i am calling on to you you have given me an assurance by your word that if i call on to you you will answer you will show me great and mighty things now i dedicate my time in fasting in prayer let me hear you speak to me and he will come hallelujah the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. That means if you are withholding and you are greedy, it will be unwise for you to be surprised that you are poor. Are we together? Because the Bible already told you that if you withhold and you are not one who is a giver, you will be poor. And then if all you are doing is giving alone, giving money or resources, you will be surprised that you'll be having momentary testimonies but it will not last because giving is not the only key are we together see yet thou a man diligent in his business the bible says he will not stand before mean men he will stand before kings you have been taught so if you give a loan and tithe a loan they all have their allocations but if you are not valuable you will stand before mean men is someone learning now as a man of God, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that does not need to be ashamed. If there is shame all around your life and ministry, don't just say it's an attack. Go and find out. Have you risen to that point of spiritual competence where it will be just for God to send the nations to hear you? More than saying it is written, your heart must be inclined to doing it is written why do we pray for the sick because the word of god declares that we can lay hands on the sick and they will be healed and that the healing ministry listen very carefully the healing ministry is part of god's is is part and parcel of the gospel what salvation does to the spirit of a man that's what healing does to his body every human being is given one body per lifetime medical science has not yet perfected the art of transferring a spirit into another body so whatever plagues your physical body is a dimension of the administration of death to your life sickness is death asking for your attention are we together now yes why do we set people free from all kinds of oppressions because the bible tells us 
that satan is behind many and most of the evil that we see in our lives and our destinies that we know that every time a man's destiny continues to capture negative occurrences it is more than a sociological event is more than an economic issue it is largely and almost always a spiritual issue and that behind it are spirits so he gave us authority over devils snakes scorpions and so when we declare in the name of jesus all of the manifestations and the things that you see those are just physical expressions but the real thing happening in the realm of the spirit is that we are placing a demand because god said to do it now we do it with faith hallelujah and every devil of hell gives way and people begin to return with testimonies now look what god has done in my life like it will happen to you this night in the name of jesus christ apostle i'm tired of my condition open the bible and find out who was tired of his condition and what he did about it an example of someone who was tired of his condition was the man jabez the bible says the mother bore him in sorrow and she named him jabez he would have sat down there saying one day go better and he would have gotten old and died and it would have been that God cannot save men. But Jabez said, like someone must say tonight, Oh, that thou would bless me. In other words, Lord, I'm tired. It's not my fault to give birth to me in sorrow and curse me as a result. I don't blame my mother. I will not hate her. But destiny you must change. And he cried unto God. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. And the Bible says God heard him. God still hears, oh. God still hears hallelujah how about people who were poor and were tired of poverty go and read your bible to the extent that one of the wives of the you know the sons of the prophet that had died they were going to carry her children and she ran to the prophet that means when you are in debt the first place you should run to is not the bank read your bible it's not just the bank the first place you should run to is any vessel that represents the prophetic the voice of god it was when she met the prophet and the prophet said what do you have in your house she said nothing except a little cruise of oil the blessing really did not just come from the man are we together now the blessing was already in her house but she needed the prophetic to activate it the oil would not multiply, but it had potential to multiply. The same way the loan you collected in the bank can help you, but without prophetic blessing, the devil will still use it and multiply your debt. What you first need is a prophetic word so that whatever you now do is empowered by prophecy. apostle i'm struggling with sickness my body it looks like there is there is no my, my body is responding somehow go to that which is written open your bible find out there were sick people in the bible who were healed what did they do the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture may find hope that means the first part of call every time you see anything in your life that is not favorable go straight to it is written not i saw not i thought i saw can deceive you you may have a vision that will keep confusing you for years leave that vision and go to it is written you have not yet verified your vision, but it is written as been verified. Many people's destinies have gone haywire because of I saw. Many people's destinies have gone haywire because of I heard. Nobody's destiny goes wrong when it is written. Listen very carefully. Some of you, as you are listening, you will find out that healings and miracles are already happening. Listen. I walk in the prophetic by the grace of God. God has granted me revelation, but can I tell you, I have learned by experience and by the word, it is a risk to leave your destiny at the mercy of I saw. It is a risk to leave your destiny at the mercy of I. Do you know how many people saw me already dead? Many years before now, genuine prophets. They saw, but it is written, vetoed it.
if you live by I saw, you live by I heard, you live by I felt, you will be a victim of situations and circumstances. I've had many revelations that relate to this ministry and this work, but the greatest basis for what we are doing, ladies and gentlemen, is not what I saw, not even my encounter with Jesus. That which is written is greater than my visions. So that even when I later discover my visions were wrong, I still find consolation because they were not the basis for my action. I only trust my vision if it is consistent with what is written. Are you learning now? Yeah. Why did you come here tonight? To change what you saw to look like what is written. Why did you come here tonight? To change what you heard or what you are hearing to what is written. Apostle, I have seen that there is a growth in my stomach. It is our assignment to midwife that process that converts every negative thing you have seen you have heard, you have felt to what is written. If that happens, our assignment is done. Oh, Apostle, I see that economically things are going down. Financially, they are going down. I agree based on what we saw. But the believer is not just one who works with what he sees or what he hears. Do you not believe the Bible again? Let God be true and all men. The Bible says, God who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us in time past through the prophets have in these last days spoken to us through his son, the word, whom he had appointed to be heir over all things. Jesus, the son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you, Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you, there used to be an old song we used to sing, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path very powerful song thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path please hear me if you ever see any sick person stand here healed it is not just because joshua selman is powerful it's because by the privilege of god's grace and partnership with the word and the spirit he has taught us the art of converting the things that are seen and the things that are heard and the things that are felt to become the thing that is written this is the mastery of a minister you are as powerful to the degree to which you can change in the lives of people the things they are seeing the things they are hearing the things they are feeling to become what is written when you pay that price with the spirit he can now trust you with the destinies of nations because indeed you will be a blessing my god is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you yes someone's word don't give up on god cause he will keep up on you he's able oh, oh, oh. chapter 1 from verse 34 Shaliba the angel speaks to Mary now Luke 1 34 please help us and he said to Mary how shall these things be 
seeing I know not a man how shall my healing happen now seeing that it has defied medical con medical explanation verse 35 he says the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God verse 45 It says, and blessed is she that believed, not just she that heard, for there shall be a performance for who? The person who believes. It's more than just hearing. It's more than just agreeing. The performance is not just for the believer in terms of, I heard, I agree, but one who believes and takes the action. If we say in the name of Jesus, lay your hands where you are feeling all the trouble and the pain and you don't. Number one, even if you agree and believe in Jesus and believe in me, chances are excellent you might not be healed. If we say check yourself and the moment you find out the power of God has touched you, come and you feel you are healed and yet you keep quiet. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? She felt within herself that the fountain of blood had dried up and she didn't keep quiet Jesus said who touched me and the woman came saying it is written will bring you a measure of results victory but doing and more importantly living by it is written is the secret for perpetual victory regardless the government in power regardless the economic tide regardless the time and the dispensation because the bible says that should be colossians am i right one and verse 16. please give it to us let's see how exalted the word of god is it says for by him were all things created the him being the word that are in heaven that are in earth visible and invisible whether there be thrones or dominions principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him all things including your healing all things including open doors all things i believe with all my heart that i will never have a better yesterday it is not my agreement with God, not from my personal work with God, not from scripture. Where then would that come from? I believe, what I believe is that which is written, that the path of the just. Now the question is whether I am the just or not. If I am not the just, then he was not talking to me. But if I am the just, the Bible says that my path will be as a shining light that shines more and more. As childlike as this truth is, you wave it away and see how your life will oscillate and vacillate from light to darkness and darkness back to light. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. This is the secret to the lifting. This is the secret to being exalted above the nations of the earth. That it shall come to pass if thou will hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do all his commandments which I commanded this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2. It says, and these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. So I believe it. I can't expect the blessings to come if I do not hearken. Hallelujah. There are many of us who are expecting things in our lives that our obedience have not purchased for us. I expect healing based on what? I expect influence based on what? Genesis chapter 17. Let's look at 6 and 7. For some of you here who the devil is lying to you that you will never rise, you will never be great, the nations will not hear your voice. The devil is a liar. He says, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful. Is that in your Bible? And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Verse 7. He says, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations. What is the covenant? To be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee 
in politics there's what we call godfather that means the person who backs you the person whose voice can help and lead you when you knock on a door politically they ask you by whose on whose stance are you coming here god is saying i will be a god to thee that means any door you knock and the door tries to speak keep quiet the one sent who sent you your obedience just gives him the room to answer you knock on the door of favor and favor says i have never opened for anyone in this lineage and the one who sent you says now you have to open because the king of glory is the one who defends him we make our boast in the lord is a risk to make our boast based on intellectual knowledge alone or based on human connections as important as they are they are only powered because above and beyond them we stand on this truth that that which is written is greater than i saw i heard i felt do not forget this message so when you see all kinds of things killings and whatever it is it is true that your eyes is seeing all this but for you you maintain your confession of faith in the name of jesus we declare that abuja is safe in the name of jesus we declare that there's victory in nigeria in the name of jesus we declare that light the light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not you see that is your own contribution to the victory folding your arms and waiting for instance for the nigerian army to suddenly announce to you that total victory has come is irresponsibility every believer in christ has a potent role a spiritual role that has a, a physical expression in keeping our borders safe he said pray for the peace of jerusalem then he says they shall prosper who love you are we learning but as for tonight, I welcome you to this adventure that turns what you have seen that is not consistent with what is written, what you have heard that is not consistent with what is written. In fact, some of you are holding what was written, but my question is written by who? Because there are many people who are writing. With all due respect, doctors write. Failure to write, it has a biro. It can write the devil is the one who writes the most writing and his and his his canvas is the life and the destiny of people but there is one who can write it does not matter what was written before him when he writes that is the end of it so the sickness that you are feeling you can choose to believe the feeling more than that which is written and it will remain so the negative event around your life and family you can choose to believe what you are seeing above and beyond that which is written and sadly it will remain so but the miracle service tonight your own responsibility is to say father i know what i have seen i know what i have heard i know what i'm feeling but i came to church tonight as a sign that i believe that you have the power to turn what i have seen to turn what I'm seeing in my family, what I have heard, to become what is written. Is someone a believer? So, like the precious lady who gave her testimony, having breathing problems, palpitations in her heart, that is what she's feeling. And let me tell you the truth, that thing you see there is real because she's feeling it. However, there is a technology in the spirit where what is written can superimpose what you are feeling this is what it means by casting down every imagination from the Greek word Yetzar and bringing every knowledge, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. We are going to do a very quick walk tonight. Very, very quick walk tonight. As soon as we arise to pray, may I please request that the ushers and all who support them to begin to collect the prayer request by the way i hope you believe in what god is doing with the prayer request here if you are here and you're you're new i want you to believe this is not some superstitious things we have to explain these things because you know somehow believers can abuse a lot of things your prayer request written by you is the most accurate communication of your desire and your expectation the Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, it says, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. 
Jesus was speaking and he said, He that told you have not asked for anything. He says, Ask that you might receive, that your joy might be full. Ask and you will receive. To the end that your joy may be full. The God we serve answers prayers. It's true. So as you write, make sure you are not just writing it as a ritual. I want you to write it. This health situation, this financial situation, this issue of my stubborn son. I have no covenant with God that my womb will give birth to an armed robber. He may be stealing around, but write it. In the name of Jesus, so, 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 and so is turning from an armed robber to a saint. Are we together? You are a man, you are a father, and you are unable to take care of your family. You write it down. Because the Bible says any man who cannot cater for his family has denied the faith and is even worse than an infidel. Lord, I am not an infidel. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. That means the wisdom and the empowerment to take care of my family. I came here to receive tonight. Most people don't know what to write. I can tell you with all due respect, when we check many people's prayer requests, it's largely nonsense that is written there. Petty, childish things that does not even deserve any spiritual attention. Write serious things that connect to destiny. Are we together now? Yes. Please write. When we bring it to the altar here, we agree by faith. And whilst declarations come, you believe by faith. Now, no matter how much I may want to prophesy to everyone, we are limited first in knowledge and then the limitation of time. And so not everybody may have the privilege of any personal prophecy. Sometimes maybe nobody. The most important thing is for you to know, listen carefully, that in an atmosphere where there is faith, in an atmosphere that allows the move of the Spirit, anything, is possible when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands impossible becomes possible when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hand may i request if you are going through any financial challenge in your life please write it i know there there are financial situations that require wisdom value dedication relationships all of that i understand but there is an advantage that we have in this kingdom there is the prophetic dimension to the activation of god's power and blessings even as regards finance and we are living in times right now where we need that dimension of god's grace at work i vowed a vow to god that i will never lead a people who are just spiritually vibrant and yet not doing well economically do you know why because a lot in our life and our civilization depends on economic empowerment there's no point hiding it there's there's nothing to shy away about imagine that as i'm standing right here uh, i'm suffering financially and things are not going well and i start passing a basket to you and say drop something while i'm preaching don't even ask me anything just drop it first you see that will be a compromise on integrity and it's based on hunger we have shared here according to Genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 that the only reason why Israel goes to Egypt is hunger. When Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he told his sons, why do ye look upon one another? Verse 2, he says, behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. The problem is not corn. The problem is the location. Get you down thither, he says, and buy for us from thence that we may leave. And not die when the devil wants to destroy your spiritual life one of the ways that he destroys your spiritual life <clears throat> is to attack your finances and then to make sure that the only place you find corn is in a place where Jesus Christ is not glorified you can fight and say I'm not going there but when hunger gets to you by yourself you will go down to Egypt 
Someone shout, God forbid. I truly believe in the empowerment of the saints, even the economic empowerment of the saints. Apostle, but when many people are blessed, they leave the Lord. That means those guys are going to run away from heaven. Because heaven is a place that is an epitome of the blessings of God. It is not the abundance of resources or the absence of resources that cause people to leave God. It is the state of their heart. Are we together now? A person who becomes wicked when he is blessed was wicked before he was blessed. The wickedness did not just have the empowerment to find expression. A person who is a giver when he is blessed was already a giver before he was blessed. The, the empowerment financially only gave room for what was in his heart to find expression. Do not reject the blessing of the Lord. That is the reason why there is so much decadence in our world today. There are many people going back to things that they were already free from because of hunger. There are parents today whose children come with money. They know they are not working. They know they are not in any business and yet they bring money to the millions and the parents know that most likely where that money came from was a wrong source. But they do not have the courage to challenge the children because they need the money. Sadly, there are even those who have encouraged their children subliminally to go and delve into all kinds of relationships and all kinds of things because of hunger. Hallelujah. So God is going to do a quick work in our lives tonight. We are going to trust God to bring healing. Healing. I truly believe that sickness is of the devil. Do not forbear with sickness. Do not give excuses around it. Believe in the name of the Lord and stand strong and let him touch you. And as soon as I begin to pray for people, the power of God will come upon you and listen very carefully. I want you to believe that you are healed and you check yourself. The moment you find out that you are healed, I'm going to be giving a few people an opportunity to come out here and to stand and we'll take a few testimonies. We're working with time very closely tonight. And then if you need to see our medical people, they're outside of this auditorium for any medical verifications, please go ahead. We don't announce fake miracles here. We don't have time for any nonsense. We only announce things that have worked. Hallelujah. We fear God and we're serious people. And we are also responsible people. Praise the name of the Lord. No playing games. No, no wasting God's people's time. It is, it is an insult as far as I am concerned. It is an insult to God, to you, and even to me to fake miracles. It truly really is an insult. Why fake what can be real? Hallelujah. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give the praise to him alone he who was and is and is to come i will sing before his throne forever forever all the angels sing and they bow down and they cry, Holy, Holy. We are sons and daughters, we praise you now. And we cry, Holy, yes we cry. I will praise the Lamb of God upon the throne I will worship him I will worship him and give the praise to him alone he who was and is he who was and is and is to come hallelujah I will sing before your throne forever I just feel stirred in my heart to just do the altar call right now before I begin to minister to the sick. 
you are here and you need Jesus on hearing this word listen to me ladies and gentlemen I worshiped him sang so powerfully here that Jesus is the answer you may be tempted to say to what question the question of death the question of defeat the question of a life that is full of ups and downs a question the question of eternal damnation if you ever ask any of these questions the answer is not a thing the answer is not an object the answer is not philosophy the answer is a person the very son of the living God there are people seated here within this auditorium all of the overflows down to the basement and then outside and many who are following online and they are saying apostle while I heard you pray I heard you teach the Holy Spirit began to speak to me that I need to number one make this decision for Jesus sincerely or I need to number two rededicate my life that as things are right now I cannot say for sure that I am a Christian Apostle, I think I'm a Christian, but I'm not sure. You are not. You can come and make it right, and you can know for certain that you have met Jesus. Without wasting time, I believe and I presume that the Holy Spirit must have spoken to you. I'm going to make the altar call. What is an altar call? It's a call to repentance. It's a call to surrender. It's a call to brokenness. It's a call. It's a handover service. You are telling Jesus, I am not ashamed of you before men. I desire you, and I need you like the flowers need the sun and the rain so i will count one to five wherever you are within this auditorium around the balcony may i request that you please rush and stand here in front so that i'll lead you to jesus and then if you're in any of the overflows and you're not able to make it here please move to the front of your auditorium same with those outside those following from your homes and so on and so forth i want you to be ready and be willing to make this prayer can we celebrate them as they come one we are here for you come and do what you do we are here come and do the things that you do set our heart come let's celebrate them as they come come to Jesus it is the one major encounter you need tonight apostle but I've come out for altar call so many times are you changed if you are not come out come and join them you can come out and encounter the God of the Bible it's not coming out that changes you It's the genuineness of the brokenness and the repentance that changes you even if you come out for an altar call a million times and you do not mean it and you don't pray the prayer of salvation based on the integrity of Scripture you are not saved we're still giving you one minute please come very quickly God bless you koinonia is this how you celebrate salvation come leave your friend leave your family members come to Jesus apostle I'm an elderly person can I join them absolutely I'm a little child can I join them you're most welcome those who are coming from the the overflows or the balconies please let them come let's celebrate them as they come your life must change 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 you will never be the same touch your grace your life must change thank you for making this bold decision for those of you who are in front of me and then those who are by their LED screens and those who are following by way of television or the internet listen let me tell you this making a decision for Jesus is not about religion making a decision for Jesus is beyond Christianity making a decision for Jesus 
is the connection to the king of kings the lord of lords this is more than becoming a christian this is becoming a child of god the bible says behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us in that we have been called the sons of god he says now are we the sons of god and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like hallelujah i salute every one of you may i please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender jesus is right here and please say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i exalt your name and your life above my feelings above my past above my present above my future i declare tonight that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of hell and of the grave is broken in my life from tonight and forever i declare that i belong to jesus i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen please keep your hands lifted father thank you because you have drawn these ones to yourself only you is able to draw men great men like this to yourself and you have brought them by the authority of scripture i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life and i declare that you are hereby declared recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you'll be grounded and established in righteousness and everything that is not of god i command it to give way in your life in the name of jesus you do go from glory to glory and grace to grace for in jesus name i pray amen and amen now very quickly we're about to pray and begin the ministry of the spirit so i would request uh, the counselors please be fast with them so that they return but i want you to just look to my right which will be your left you would see a few counselors waving their hands and waving the placard please just move to my right which is your left they'll have a word with you and you'll be back to your seat very quickly let's honor them as they go thank you thank you let's celebrate them they are going healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down i'm not afraid i'm not afraid healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down not afraid please rise up all of you I've told you why the ministry of healing is very powerful the healing ministry is an end time ministry there is such a ministry as the healing ministry hallelujah that gives an opportunity to dispense the healing power of Jesus when the the ministry of healing is administered by the mercy of God what we call the mercy of God the mercy of God is responsible for the administration of the healing power of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood that came out from Jesus all through his body dripping to the ground, those stripes were for our healing. The healing of your body. And right now you're in this place 
and all across i want you to believe this is a miracle service that all of these demonic things that have plagued you will leave you now now may i please request very quickly that you lay your hands make contact with any part of your body where you are trusting god for a miracle please do that very quickly lay your hands remember what i told you it is written is the key to walking in perpetual victory when jesus said it is written satan gave way when jesus did it is written he not only gave way but victory was established now thanks be to god the bible declares who causes us always to triumph if it's a part of your body you cannot touch for whatever reason just make contact with your chest and i want to pray for you i really believe in the power of god i've seen the god of wonders work miracles for me keep your hands there those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically the mantles of elijah paul and timothy i want to see that power at work inside of me i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this it's gotta be more, gotta be more. It's gotta be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things. We press in here. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. It's gotta be more than this. Shalasco brandi cabarasiata. those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out when i begin to minister for those who would come out i will ask you but please lay your hands i want to pray right now my god there's such all i'm just seeing is i'm just seeing smoke just inside and outside that smoke of his presence consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence feels this room consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome healing fills my life your mighty power fills this place in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names i command that spirit to live now in jesus name right now i decree and declare inside outside be healed now be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed in the name of jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of jesus organ failures be restored in the name of jesus the power of god is touching so many people in the name of jesus there's someone suffering from muzzle pull muzzle pull like like what footballers or athletes have in the name of jesus the power of god is healing you now someone your right ears you don't hear with it it is opening right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there's someone you are following from national hospital national hospital i'm seeing you on the bed 
in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as I'm praying right now you are feeling a, a, a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of Jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in Jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the Holy Spirit as I pray right now it dissolves and goes down now HIV be healed now I say it again HIV be healed now every kind of cancer be healed now terminal illnesses be healed now those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid i declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of jesus christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of god is coming upon you and in the name of jesus perfect vision for you in the name of jesus christ there's someone you are having like um i'm hearing gastritis in the name of jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a, a severe problem once you stand in the sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the holy spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now pile be healed now i i don't know my god there's someone i'm i'm seeing is like of course i'm not a doctor but i'm it's like i'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil not a boil but a growth a projection inside your head literally in the name of jesus i don't know whether that has been verified medically or not but be healed right now there's someone you have a condition i don't know what that condition is but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can enjoy yourself i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed the issue of blood is being healed right now very severe issue of blood is being healed right now there is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you're unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of jesus christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of jesus the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand i'm i'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of god is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of jesus 
a very supernatural miracle has happened you came here and your one of your molars i don't know i think it was removed but a miracle is going to happen you are going to see a brand new teeth right there this is what the lord is telling me in the name of jesus i declare by the spirit of grace by the power that raised christ from the dead someone has um like a growth a projection just this part of your neck this side in the name of jesus as i'm praying for you right now the power of god is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now now whether i mention your case or not diabetes diabetes is being healed right now sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you i don't know if you can walk or not but the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus the son of the living god whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name 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 There is someone I am seeing, you are not in this country. Uh, it's not given to me to know what nation, but I know you are outside this country. You are holding your child. Your child is five years, getting to six, and has never spoken. And the Lord is telling me to pray for that child. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what that nation is, but I declare, may the tongue of that child be loose now. May the tongue of that child be loose now. The Lord is showing me a woman. This is an elderly woman, should not be less than 55 years old. This is a woman in the hospital, in coma completely. In fact, it's almost as if she's gone. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life and we declare that woman returns right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone for a long time, please don't be embarrassed. You've suffered what we call mouth odor, very pungent smell. It's not an issue of lack of hygiene. You have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that. Right now, as I'm praying for you, the power of God is touching you and that, that healing is happening right now. In fact, I'm seeing at least three or four people with this case I just mentioned. No matter how you try to maintain your hygiene, it looks like that embarrassment continues. It's a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, be delivered. The Lord is showing me someone, you went to bed and you had a dream. And in that dream, it had to do with death. And from the time you woke up, you have been sick till now. It is the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I declare you are free from that demonic thing. hallelujah now here's what we'll do i want to minister deliverance right now but for all those who are trusting god for healing i want you to check yourself right now the moment you check yourself and you find out that the power of god has touched you you could not do something i want you to do it right now inside and outside you could not work begin to walk you could not see begin to see the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please be guided by the protocol or ushers and you make your way to come right here to the front either to my left or to my right and then we'll have we'll give you room for your testimony very quickly while that is happening I'd like you to please submit your prayer request. You would see ushers by your left and right. You may do well to pass your prayer request to the last person, either by your left or right, so that they would pass it. Ushers, please make that snappy so that we can have the people submit their request. And if you have passed any row and they are yet to submit, please just lift it up and then an usher will be there to attend to you. I want to minister deliverance now. I believe in deliverance. I really do upon Mount Zion the Bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession it is no news that Satan is determined to thwart our destiny and he has an arsenal of demon spirits that continue to go around the lives and the destinies of God's people spying upon their liberty 
but the bible says how terrible art thou in your ways psalm 66 and verse 3 it says through the greatness of thy power thy enemies shall submit themselves to you and so i want to pray right now and rebuke every spirit that is back of the tragic events across and around our lives are you ready now when i pray then uh, together with those who will be coming out all those who are healed and are coming for testimonies will now allow them to come let me pray ah you know sometimes the way the holy spirit works is very strange i've not even started praying and i started hearing shouts and people running in the spirit this is what i started hearing bring them out that's not the only one you hear many like the healing power of jesus just delivering people that's what i started hearing in my spirit and the lord just asked me to allow that happen before i start speaking the supernatural works in a very strange way sometimes it, 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 these things how and why they happen i really do not know ours is just to flow with the holy spirit and do that which pleases him right so there will be many people right now who will start shouting under the anointing i want you to bring them out and then i will now start praying the power of god is already touching people thank you lord jesus whether inside outside all of those people by the spirit of grace let's have them out very quickly if the ushers are limited please pr or any other department do help them so that we'll, we'll make this fast and we make this snappy in the name of jesus christ bring them out you are the covenant keeping god you are the covenant keeping god Yahweh, hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit tormenting spirits this is what god wants to take spirits that torment people whether in dreams or visions whether as afflictions or infirmities i want to declare right now please i want you to bring them out in the name that is above all names i decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now from the influence of tormenting spirits be free now the power of god is still coming upon people right now the power of god help them please the power of god is still coming upon people be delivered now in the name of jesus christ satan get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people 
father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released please bring them out i decree and declare i prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit help them please every devil of stagnation every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare i'm moving forward go ahead open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i am making advancement in life and destiny every devil in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead i'm still praying you hear about good things but your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession i want to pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of this that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of god is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a paris qatar for those patterns i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there is a lady you are from edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family i will not let you go free right now help her the power of god is coming upon you from edo state i'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people Edo state be delivered now bring them out be delivered now be delivered now the lord is ministering to me there's someone here every time your time of promotion comes you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show i decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family i release that family right now 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 please whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing please help to bring them you don't have to wait for the ushers there might be too much for them to do i'm hearing the name jennifer the season where demonic holds over your life is breaking i'm hearing the name jennifer in the name of jesus i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now jennifer i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold what's her name hold on please don't take it easy my dear where are you coming from look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus 
I cast that spirit now. Be delivered completely in the name of Jesus. For every other person in the name of Jesus, this lady holding her stomach, something is leaving your stomach. I cast that spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Release her destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ. My goodness, God is setting people free. I am seeing God take things out of people's stomachs. Like, I don't know, like growth or whatever. I declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth, right now, fire from heaven is coming upon you. That devil dissolves now. That devil dissolves now. I'm hearing a name Israel Israel and the Lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for God to use you to visit your family this is what God is telling me who is Israel what do you do my friend yes, sir. Huh? I'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if I tell you God is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every israel here what he says to one he says to all by the power that raised christ from the dead i release that grace upon all of you take that grace right now in the name of jesus the lord will use you to set your family free in the name of jesus christ hear me there is someone i want to pray for you don't have to come out but the power of God is visiting people. Do you know that death is a spirit? D-E-B-T. Not death. Death, borrowing. There, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs. It's not that you are bad. This thing is a pattern. You have seen it. God wants to break it in families. I don't know where that family is, but right now. The spirit that has tied people financially walking and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of God is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily I don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of Jesus Christ God is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out a store from nowhere is a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of God is coming upon them the Lord is saying it has come to an end I don't know what it is but that's what I hear it has come to an end it has come to an end I decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of God is touching you it has come to an end in the name of Jesus Please don't just pick them and take them back. Ushers, you should know better, please. Let me do my prayer for them. There's a reason why I ask them to come. Please return that lady who is going back, please. It's not about bringing them out to show a man of God is powerful. No. Please, don't just pick them when they think. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. They don't have to come out. But when God instructs, then it's important. Otherwise, you will just take them back to their various bondages. For all those who are out here in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now, for all of you, I declare at the count of three, let them go, release their destinies. One, two, three, go, 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 out of them now, out of them now, out of their lives now, in the name of Jesus, everything that has been stolen let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you 
everything that has been stolen in the name of Jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus the Lord is still showing me a family your father is a pastor but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family a sincere man of God who loves God but poverty failure shame this is what has characterized his family I don't know who that person is you are a lady in the name of Jesus is there someone like that please make sure you verify let's not just have people coming out carelessly your father is a pastor I want to pray the devil is a liar Shalika Prandege Baradusia. Just put them, they can stand one place anywhere there. I want to pray for them. You see, look at this. You can imagine this kind of demonic mockery. A man who is who is spending his life serving the Lord, and then the devil will want that nothing works in his life. You see, so it can discourage members, it can discourage people. They can say, if you are a man of God, why are these things not working for you? But in the name of Jesus, you came here for this miracle service tonight. I'm praying for you. There are so many of you, so I will use you as a point of contact. Every altar speaking against your family. Right now, I stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here. At the count of three, that fire will fall upon you. One, two, three. Take that fire. 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 I decree and declare those altars are set ablaze I release your parents I release your loved ones I release your parents I release your families help them please every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now I not only pray for them I pray for you in the name of Jesus every altar that sponsors hatred, that sponsors trouble, that sponsors limitation by the power that raised Christ from the dead. It is destroyed now. You don't have to come out but i want to pray for you there is someone here your father has a case with efcc and if we don't pray for you with what i'm seeing they are going to jail him i don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of jesus i don't i'm not a, a, a government worker i don't know how it works there but for god to have revealed it we declare mercy right now Amen. agree with me we declare mercy right now Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer i decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them, I overturn them. I overturn them. help them please i overturn them in the name of jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours Whether in the office, whether in politics, I say it again. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for 
in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy Amen. in the name of Jesus because with what the Lord is showing me right now, I'm seeing a lot of financial distress. It's still undertone. They are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for the sake of the mercy of God and for the sake of those who fear God in that bank, both workers and customers, may God preserve it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica who is Jessica Jessica this is what I'm hearing who is Jessica where are you coming from I just did. come and stand here please where are you coming from I want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not nothing I want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband? He's outside. He lost his job. Yes. When? Yes. 2017. And from that time, he's not gotten a job again. The one he got, he has been managing it. He's nothing to write home about. From the when he is he here? Yes, because of there's no space. He's of course, I understand. Outside. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to come. Husband, wherever you are, you are seeing your wife on camera. Just stand by faith. If we say he should come now. We may waste time. Do you believe God can visit him? Yes. Madam, what do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles, so I truly believe. Hallelujah. Jessica. Your name is not Jessica. Oh. Brother's wife. Huh? Your brother's wife. You're standing in. Okay. Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry, I'll pray for you since you're here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Every planting of darkness. I use this once in front as a point of contact. Ah! I'm praying for these people, but I'm seeing a lady here. There is a, a ring that is demonic. This is not physical on your hand, but this is demonic. This thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Help them. Help them. This is what I'm seeing. I just saw a ring flashing at me, and the Lord is saying, until that is taken care of, it looks like nothing can... I'm praying. I do... What he says to... Why are you coming out, my dear? Listen to what I'm saying first. Okay, don't worry. My dear, look at me. Just calm down. You are not carrying a physical ring. Huh? Just be patient. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare... I'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles. That's not what I'm saying. I'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here, if there is any strange marriage, aha, uh -huh, that is not of God, any demonic kaparakatos kediata, every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit, help that woman. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the Lamb upon the throne. We dissociate that demonic marriage now. We dissociate that demonic marriage now. Please help them, my God. We dissociate that demonic marriage now. Strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep, molesting you and spying upon your liberty. Right now I stretch my hands. Anyone here who is a victim of those things, be delivered now. And for all of the Jessicas who God called out here, 
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family I hereby release you now I hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life I release you now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of August the way God will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you God bless you thank you there there is um, I don't know if I should ask them to come out now but I am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of Jesus I don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is the grace there and I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God father upon all these ones I declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what God will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm not a prophet of doom but I want us to pray I'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of Jesus Christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me I don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here there are many things that I see that I just pray on sometimes God allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is that is God revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of Jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the Bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with Christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of Christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not we don't see any expression of that in the Bible are we together the destruction of Satan nobody can fast and pray for Satan to be saved no the judgment of Satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the Saints to stop hallelujah since God has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the FCT do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the FCT we are praying for Nigeria all the six geopolitical zones we are praying extending our prayers to Africa but particularly for Nigeria go ahead and pray we pray for Abuja the FCT then we pray for the north we pray for the south we pray for the east and we pray for the west in the name of Jesus the son of the living God we agree as a spiritual family Oh God arise and let everything that is Antichrist be scattered over our nation we decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military the police DSS civil defense we declare let there be angelic activities let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints somebody is praying call the name of any area in Abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it we declare safety safety all the six local governments that make up this state we declare safety extend that word of safety to the neighboring environment Nasarawa state Niger state Kaduna state Plateau state Benway state Kogi state we decree and declare safety by the power of the Holy Spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping 
maiming, killing, destructions of lives and properties. They come on that judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. They come on that judgment. Somebody is praying. The facilities within the FCT, we declare safety, public, private facilities in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please listen to me. I don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed. But let me just give you a word of hope and comfort. Please hear me. Do not fear. Prophesy to yourself. Say myself. In the name of Jesus, I reject fear. One more time. Say it. Say I reject fear. Hold on. Let me tell you. By the privilege of where I come from and where we started ministry, I've had the... I don't know what to call it now. I have... I have been part of many crises and I've seen many uprisings. There is one thing I can tell you. Fear has never helped in any situation. I know that because of what is happening across the FCT, there is fear. I know that there is a call for greater vigilance. There is a call for greater sensitivity, both spiritually and security wise. But can I tell you, I challenge every father and every priest here, you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith. We are not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil. Rather, we would pray that God himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people yeah. are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of this vested interest and evil people wherever they are may god judge them both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steal they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released, it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil. The entire central system, the network of evil, may fire from heaven fall upon them. But as for you in the name of Jesus, I place a mark upon you. By reason of being grafted to Christ, and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of Jesus you will not die Amen. the Lord God himself will prohibit you Amen. from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. now I want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the request come wherever you are begin to pray in the spirit Begin to pray in the spirit, please. You are enforcing everything that has been spoken outside. Are you praying? All of the overflows begin to pray. Begin to pray in the spirit. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, can you wave it? Someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly. Go ahead and pray. Though I walk through the valley, love, I'll fear no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you. One more time. Though I walk through the valleys, I'll fear no evil. I go under still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust, trust in you. Hallelujah. Please. 
prophetically may i request that you stretch your hands towards me and begin to pray and declare over this request as i bow my knees before the father of glory agreeing for answers to these prayers answers to this request i'd like you to declare that these egyptians i see today i will see them no more forever someone pray this is the most accurate representation of your desires the bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare in the name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every request here is turned to a harvest of testimonies. Every long-standing issue represented here, may this be the season for speedy answers. Every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here, in the name of Jesus, we command that that spirit loses its hold now. And every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life, we compel the ministry of those men. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of Jesus he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev I decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around in the matchless name of Jesus now i made a commitment a personal commitment to see that we end tonight by nine because of the situation and so because of that we may have to suspend every other thing i'll just speak over your life for the next one or two minutes it's already two past nine my apologies for all those who would have wanted to come for testimonies what i will request that you do is next week um you can just write your testimonies and we'll take it let me speak over your life finally and then we're done hallelujah in the name of jesus christ this is the last day of this month tomorrow becomes august i decree and declare august is the ninth month everything you have been carrying this is the month to give birth to it shame and reproach over your life comes to an end now if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life and not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ be restored be restored be restored be restored by the power of the Holy Spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead I stand as a prophetic midwife and I push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you 
in the name of Jesus Christ for those who are trusting God for manifestations of financial favor I release my faith and I agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that this week God will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you God will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ